In order to observe the organs in place, the mouse has to be laid down on its back, then stretch the limbs perpendicularly to the body axis and fix them with pins in the hands and feet. It's necessary to locate the prepuce orifice in the male and the urinary orifice in the female. Make an incision in the skin with fine scissors about a couple of millimeters above the orifice. From this opening, the incision must continue on the mid-ventral side up to the chin. Two lateral incisions extend towards the extremities of forelimbs and hind limbs. The skin is separated from the underlying muscular layer and pinned on the sides. In this step of the dissection, at the base of the head, we can notice a part of the salivary glands. Next to the salivary glands, the main muscles of mastication, digastric and masseter muscles, allow the mouth to open and close. At the trunk level, we distinguish two regions, the thorax and the abdomen. The abdominal cavity must be opened to highlight the organs in place. Abdominal muscles must be lifted and incised up to the base of the thorax. Then, two transversal incisions are made at this level to complete the abdominal cavity opening. Muscular foldings are pinned on the sides. The liver and a part of the intestines are now visible. In its upper part, the abdominal cavity is separated from the thoracic cavity by a very well-developed muscle, the diaphragm. The rib cage is dorsally limited by the spine, sideways by the ribs, and ventrally by the sternum. The thorax dissection allows to observe organs that are in the thoracic cavity. The sternum is cut with scissors following the groove director. The diaphragm is cut at its periphery following the costal arch and the rib foldings are removed. The lungs, the heart and the thymus gland are now visible. The thymus is an immune organ involved in T-cells maturation.